Well, hello everyone, and thank you for stopping by. Well, as the video states, I'm about to show you how to hook up your Bluetooth mouse to your Amazon Fire Stick. Let's get at it. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I charge up my Bluetooth mouse, and I'm also gonna make sure it's turned on. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And it's ready to go. So now we're gonna hook up to the Fire Stick. Okay, now I got uh, the Fire Stick up and running and everything. And of course, with my Amazon uh, remote control, I'm gonna make my way to the settings sprocket over here to get into settings. And then I'm gonna go down. And I want to look for Bluetooth devices. So I'm going to click on that. Now already, my mouse is basically blinking, as you can see, waiting to be hooked up. So that's basically where we're where we at right now. So I'm going to look for other Bluetooth devices. I'm gonna hit add Bluetooth devices. And that's what we're looking for right there. It already found it. So we're gonna click on that. Bluetooth, the mouse is not connected. All right, so. All right, so now we'll get off of here. So then now that the mouse is now officially attached to the fire stick, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, roll around the mouse wheel first and see what happens. Okay, the mouse wheel works, but I don't see no curse on the screen. But I think it's because you actually gotta use this in the app. That's what I'm thinking. All right, you know what, let's get at it. We're going to go over to the apps. Oh, actually, hold on, let's back up. Okay, well, that's the app we want. But just in case you need to, let me show you this real quick. Just in case you need to install apps to use this mouse wheel, you definitely go to the app store and then, you know, get it. So I'm gonna go to the internet browser that's already installed on Fire Stick, which is called Internet. It used to be called Silk, but I think they changed the name to Internet now. So I'm going to click on it. Oh, there it is, okay. So now what I'm going to do, as you notice, while I'm moving the mouse around, you can see the mouse cursor. Looks like a circle. It might show up as another type of cursor on other apps too. That part I'm not sure, but on this one it's like a circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if the mouse wheel works on here. Oh, it does. It definitely does. All right. I'm basically gonna look for stuff. I'm trying to find if I can find my YouTube channel. Oh, I can't find my YouTube channel. Okay, that's all right. I'm just gonna use my mouse. Just get rid of that. Now the mouse doesn't work on the, the keyboard when it comes up, but you can definitely use this to type in what you need to type in. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna clear that. I'm gonna go ahead and type in uh, what I need to type in. And of course, add the queue. Hit next. And then I'm gonna use my mouse and move over to hit this little magnifying glass. Oh, there we are. 
All right, so let's go to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna click on that. Yes. Then again, no, I don't wanna do that. I wanna open it in the browser itself. So I'm gonna use my thing right here. Select the browser, use my, you know. Click on it again. YouTube should be popping up on the browser itself. It wanted me to go in the app, but I didn't want to do that. <laughs> oh, there we are. And as you can see, it works really well. Well, I'm also going to include a link to the mouse that we just used to demonstrate. And um, it comes with a lot of interesting features on it. Like, for instance, as you probably know, it's got this little thing on the bottom. That's the receiver that you attach to the computer, your home PC, so you better operate via Bluetooth. Or, well, it's got two different functions on here, but I'm going to go ahead and include the link to it in the description below. I hope this was helpful and um, just you know just leave your comments about it and everything. Let me know how well it works and that's pretty much it. Thank you for stopping by and may you have a wonderful day.